Well, you have a good timing, don't stop, because our next tier list is a big one. It's a big one. Violent Santa. And what did you think? The next tier list, friends. Hey, Zachy, how are you? The next tier list will be the biggest one of this evening. Did I not close it? Whoop. Thought I closed it. Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius, War of the Visions, Global Units, Tier List. That's right. Look at this. Whoa. Some of these are going to be very easy, though. Like, I, we already dropped Snow in D because he's just, it's snow. I feel like we need, like, we have S, S, S plus, S, A plus, A, B, C, D. We're going to add another row below. Um, no. Here. You got demoted. Because a bunch of MRs are going to go in C and D probably, so. Perfect. Bottom tier. Who's this? Kane goes in there too. Okay. Um, instead of SS, we'll go with Endy's favorite. Endy's fabs. Um... Because, like, Ravza as a character sits at about, like, a B or C. Uh, but he's Ramza, so he's got to be at the top. So the way we're going to do this... Hey, Snow ain't bad. Yes, I know. <laughs> but it's me. <laughs> so the way we're going to do this, we're going to listen... I, I thought about this one a lot because if I put this on YouTube, which I will... Hi, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to get some comments, like... What are you talking about? Snow's the best tank in the game. What are you talking about? Kane is like the dark bros. I don't I don't give a shit. Um, this is Endy's tier list. Super biased. And here are my criteria. Do I like the character? No. We're gonna talk about some of the glams because is Joom in here? Where's Joom? Okay, Joom. Okay, come with me. Not only is Joom an S tank, but her glam is fantastic. So we're gonna talk about, yeah, the unit. Uh, is the unit good? Does the unit look good? And do I like the character? Also, Doom is super sassy and I really like her, so. I feel like Ramza should just go like at the top, but it's fine. Like he, he should just, it's just, cause she's also a favorite, but I also, I don't know. How, I don't know how I wanna do this. Ramza's pretty bad. Like, he's B. B, C tier of a support. But he's my, my favorite character of all time. I gotta put him there. So we have a lot of characters to go through. If you do not play War of the Visions, I'm gonna try my best at um, kind of describing what their kits and stuff are. Um, just name the top tier. No, because, like, Aranea goes in there, too. Well, I might as well just drop her. So Aranea. I pulled her for Burger because it's Burger's favorite character. Arnea is gonna have to go. See, I don't actually really want to do that because I would put Arnea Arnea as an S tier. Um, I've been running Arnea in in guild battles for months now, and she's really good. She serves me really well. I used to be a water player, and then I used to be a thunder player, and then I started working on my ice team, and Aranea changed my ice team around. I went from like an average ice team to like, I'm an ice player now. Aranea has been a big, big part of it. So did Agrias, but Aranea, absolute waifu, okay? Uh, we all know this. Um, in Final Fantasy XV, she's a fan fan fantastic character. And in War of the Visions, she performs really well. She has saved me some of my guild battles, which I'm doing right now, because I should. So RNA is an S tier character. Favorite, okay, we'll do Endy's favorite, but actually bad. Actually, okay. <laughs> there you go. So Ramza is my favorite, but he's actually an okay character. So we have to name him. We have to put him up there, but let's recognize that he's just an actually okay character. Aranea, fantastic unit. This is a new glassy. Now, I don't have her. I'm not going to pull for her, but I see her and she hurts a lot. I'm going to put her in S. So this is two dragoons here. Two silver-haired maiden dragoons. And, um... The, the, yeah, flag bearer is her name. Flag bearer glassy is an absolutely beast. 
Her outfit, made by Ma Cherie, by the way. Uh, her outfit is nice. She's a good unit. I like Glacella as a character. I think she deserves an S. Locke. I'm approving of Dragoon. You should be proud. You should be proud. Is this Zach's theme? Oh, Chocobo. Chocobo. Dun, 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 dun. Locke is one of the best free unit of in the entire game. Locke is insane when it comes to evasion. Um, if you have Locke and you haven't built him and you have the resources, build him. Absolutely build him. He um, He's very good on my light team. I wasn't disappointed. I'm not a really big into light. Um, but when you have to do your brutal clears or high difficulty clears with a specific element, like Locke does some good work. He's still in your light party. He does some good work. Um, is he god tier? No. Is he decent though? Absolutely. For a free unit, he can do some good work for you. We have Leela the Bold, ver like the adult Leela, some people call her. Um, she's very good. I hate absolutely, absolutely. Does this is this adult Leela? How many? Yeah, because this is MR Leela. And then there's Halloween little Leela right here. So yes, yeah, so this is adult Leela. She's very strong. Dark is OP. Um unfortunately my my ice team destroys her like hard. We destroy her hard. So, I'm going to put Leela in about an S. She's a great unit. If you have a dark team, she is the meta. Uh, but I have to say... I can I can crush her with my ice team. So, I'm going to put her at S. Gobez. Um, I feel like when Gobez came out, he was bigger in Japan than he's ever been in Global. And I, I honestly just don't understand why. But I I don't see him in guild battles. I don't see him. I don't see him ever. I think he's 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 okay. I know that he goes well with Dark Vina. He can go well with Black Rose Helena. But you never see him ever. Is he good in PVE? I don't know. I don't have him. Go best to me. I'm not a fan of the character. I feel like B is fair. I know that he's supposed to be good. I remember when the game was new and our the first time Final Fantasy IV's collab came out. Um, I remember him being a boss, and I remember that I remember when that fight was hard. Yeah, you don't really see him. He was with Black Rose Helena a lot. He was with Black Rose Helena a lot, and then Dark Fina came out, and there was a lot of. There was a lot of speculation that the three would be like the dark mages, right? But then Bobez just never stayed. It's really, it's really sad for him. Um, Lucio? S tier. Lucio being another free unit is a bonus. And honestly, holy shit. Lucio has a lot, a lot to offer if you build him. I keep telling Burger to get his stuff because Lucio is just a great character. So if you're looking for another free unit that you can build at your own leisure, I think Lucio, you're starting to get him built out. He's gonna help you a lot, Burger. I think I think Lucio is gonna help your account a lot. So is Sylvie, by the way. So build her, because um, Burger just randomly pulled Sylvie, which I was really jealous. But we're not gonna go there. Um, Lucio, fantastic unit. He's super cute in the story. Like he's absolutely adorable. Um, and and the voice actor is also absolutely adorable. So um, he's an S tier. Masheri. So this is. Queen Mashiri, right? Um, I strongly dislike Mashiri as a character. I'm gonna put her with Golbez. I know that Earth Mashiri is very strong. Um, her dress was made by Glacella, so you know, there's that going for her, I guess. Uh, she's very strong in an Earth team right now. Am I gonna use her? No, I strongly dislike Mashiri. Um, uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna upset Orange with this. I'm so sorry, but yeah. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Everyone has her max. Nobody uses her. Mine is not max. I refuse. I'm stubborn. Okay, uh, Lemure. 
Lemuri can be used, so she's a dark time mage. She can, she has some usage. In the limited cost battle, Lemuri does actually pretty good if you if you utilize her really well. I'm gonna put her in B because she doesn't compete to your Dark Fina. Um, she's a support, but she's a time mage support. She's good. That's about all I can. That's about all I'm gonna give her. She's cute. I like her outfit a lot. I think she's adorable. Uh, but again, Lemure... I am not convinced that... Um, I'm just not. I'm just not. Luel. Um, I really like Luel's design. I think Luel kind of goes with Mashiri and the um, un underloved Earth Mages. I think Luel has... She was the first scholar, if I remember correctly. And she's got a really cool kit. She's just not on par with other mages, you know? Like, she, she's she got a, a, a good self-sustain. And I feel like people are sleeping on Luel. And, and and I know for a fact that she can be better. I've been trying to level her up. But I do not have Earth units to pair her with. No matter what I do, she just does not shine for me. And I would love to see an example of a very strong Luel. She's got the sausage hair. If you were here last year when she came out, we had a big discussion of what sausage hair is. Um, as uh, Friday Streams used to be. She's very cute. I love her design. She's not that strong, though. It's an, it's really unfortunate. Um, sadly... Sadly is one of the characters that can wreck my Earth... Uh, my Sorry, my Ice team, just because confusion. He's a very, very, very strong unit. But I hate his face. So I think I have to go for A. A plus. He's a god tier wind mage. But I hate his face. I can't put him higher than A plus. He can't be S tier for me. Um, he does the villain role really well. I have to say, like, you know, he's a believ believable villain. He's a fantastic unit. I refuse to pull for him, though. If I ever pull him, I'll just level... I just leave him at level one. <laughs> There's some characters I have in the game that I just refuse to level because I'm stubborn. I won't even put them on Togo Boy Expedition. They don't even deserve it. Is that rude? It's a little rude, hey? He's a villain. Yes, Burger sadly is uh, is the villain of the main story. Burger skipped the whole story. Makoto. Well, okay. So here's the thing. Makoto is a slightly higher than average unit. So she, she, she's that A for base. Makoto can be built differently, though. Makoto has a very interesting kit where she can be mage, she can be physical, she's a lightning puncher. However, Makoto's fantastic in persona, so I have to promote her right here. Her glam, absolutely great. Super smart character. Like, Makoto is one of my favorite characters in Persona 5, but to be honest, I like all the Persona 5 characters. She's the best healer of Persona 5. I think I'm going to put her in an A+. Like, she's not super competitive. You don't really see her in PvP teams. Um, I like her. I use her in my lightning team for PvE. Uh, she's got some good backup. She's got some good buffs. She's got some good heals. She's good. And she can also have missile attacks. So that's where I would put Makoto. Well, do I put her higher than Locke? No, I think I'm going to leave her at A. She's not better than Locke. As far as free units go. Charlotte. Um, you... If you played War of the Visions for a while... Charlotte was a highly, anticip an highly anticipated unit. We were all waiting for Charlotte. We were all waiting for Charlotte, Cloud, and Freddy for a while, too. And unfortunately, in global, we got URs as on. And that just threw the whole meta. Like, it just wrecked the whole thing, right? But Charlotte is still a fantastic physical tank. I'm gonna put her in an S. I, I really like her character. I haven't played uh, Brave XBS. I've only played War of the Vision. But she's an S tier to me because she's still... Hiccups. She's still a fantastic tank, in my opinion. 
Glacella Regalia. Well, she is a fire mage. And uh, like her other fire mage partner, Ketone, Summer Ketone. I've seen Orange Jay's videos and she performed really well. I, but honestly, that's it. That's it. I um I'm not a fan of her. Like I have her, I have her kit. I've been slowly building her, but I'm also kind of regretting slowly building her because I feel like I'm going to be using resources that I could use somewhere else. I don't think she's a super worth unit to level up unless you really like Glacella or you have a actual fire team to support her. If you have Terra fully built, I think they pair really well together and then add a tank. Make it not rain though. Does fire have a real tank? Uh, is this McLeod? I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> is that Varouche? I'm sorry. Are you good? Does fire have characters? Fire has characters. Not a whole lot, but... It has some. Cyrell, fantastic MR character. Um, I don't use her, but she's got a Cactar keychain, so I'm gonna put her to C. She's got on her, um... On her character profile, like on her sprite, she's got a little Cactar keychain. Otherwise, she'd be a D. Uh, Jaden, I've actually really liked to. So when I first started playing the game, I hated Jaden from the story because everybody would talk and put him on a pedestal, and um, I ended up just hating the character. Hey, Starman! Yes, we're doing War of the Visions right now. This is going to be a longer one, but after this, we're doing uh, Final Fantasy music. Jaden, I used to hate in chapter one. Then in chapter two or book two, I suppose, uh, he has, he actually started growing on me. Um. So I'm actually going to put Jaden in a A+. Plus. I actually really like the character. He's one of the few magic gunners. The, uh, the other magic gunner is also Jaden. Um, so he can be in a light team. He's missile, right? So he can be in a... He, he could just... He could work well in a magic team. He can work well in a physical team. Like, Jaden just works really well in a light team. I like it. Hi, Bipolar. It's minus 36 in uh, in Edmonton, and it's cold as fuck. Uh, Alim. Alim was another one where, when the game was new-ish, everybody was looking forward to her. Oh, she's the best MR unit in the game. Okay. <laughs> she's never done well for me. Uh, is this Velne, whatever? Who uses her? Nobody. Okay, Dark Fina. I was not impressed going out for groceries. Oh, man. It's so cold. Tomorrow's gonna be better, though, Bipolar. Tomorrow will be warmer. Darfina, I'm going to put her S tier. One of the best mage in the game, in my opinion. Um, every time I go against the Darfina, she absolutely shreds me. Even with my mage tank, Agrias, Darfina can still... Well, she'll do less damage, because Agrias is very tanky, but... Dark Fina still shreds stuff. She's scary. I avoid her at all cost. Uh, Summer Kill Fate. Very unique character. She's got a... She likes to apply buffs to herself while she attacks. Um, she's a great character. I love her design. I'm a fan of Kill Fate. However, she's a summer unit, so I'm like, mm, I have opinions about that. I'm gonna put Summer Kill Fate in A because I don't own her, but I've seen her used in very strong teams. Like, very strong teams. Sweetheart. Valentine Salire. Um, very good. She was our... No, Garvel was our first Energist. She is the... She is the most controversial unit in the game. Um, if you were played back then, it was a big deal that they cover up her, her whole cleavage thing because she's supposed to be a, a minor. Yeah, censorship. However, she's very strong. She's a very, very fast mage. I'm gonna put her in A tier. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Well, actually, let's do this. Yeah. Hi, Aksha. Um, Valentine Saliri, before I was able to build Aranea, and before I had Agrias to 120, Valentine Saliri 120 literally slaps. 
Um, very, very good character. Lightning. Now, I've only recently got Lightning to 120. I haven't had a chance to take her for a spin yet. Uh, but Lightning Skit is very good. She's one of the three units in the game that has a follow-up attack. And follow-up attack just... If you have courage, no, you don't. She's very good. Lightning has been... She's shown herself. She's proven herself. Um, she's a great addition to, let's say, you want to run Cloud with her. That's scary. But Lightning also has the chance and, and the opportunity to you have some pew pew powers. She's got missile attack. And with missile attack, you can now pair her with Frederica. You can still pair her with Cloud. Cloud has um, Hunter? Sniper? He, he's got a one. Um, Lightning is very versatile. And Lightning is worth leveling all her sub jobs because she is that versatile. So I'm going to put her in A+. Plus. Not quite S because she's not meta defining. She's not a free unit that will serve you for the rest of the game. Um, she's a great character. And plus it's lightning. Who doesn't like sassy lightning? Corwell. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. You're about C tier. You're about C tier. Esther, Cloud, and Lightning together. Yes, that's a very strong... That's a very strong combo. Esther is fantastic. I was trying to... Um, now that I got Lightning leveled, I was looking at getting Cloud, Orlando, and Lightning together with like a mega Lightning Slash. And um, I think that could be really fun and also very squishy without support or tank. But I think it'd be fun. I need, I need to JP train her a lot though before I do that. La Mega? Who's that? You can go in a no. I haven't even really done anything. Tifa! Okay, so Tifa, when Tifa came out, she was probably one of the best wind unit at that point in time. Um, she came in, I think it was right before... Was it before or after? No, it was after... It was after near. Yeah, because we had to be at that point. Tifa was always very good. I'm gonna put her in A. Um, so I'm sensing a theme for A here. She was very good. She she still is used in my win team to this day. Um, not a lot of characters build... Not a lot of players will build a um, a punch resist. Like a strike resist, that's the word. And um, Tifa, like not a lot of characters resist Tifa. She's, she's very good. She deals the damage. She does the job. She's got great chaining capabilities. She's, she's just fucking good. Is she meta defining? No. Is she going to carry you in the top arena? Probably not. I don't know. I'm not in there. <laughs> Tifa's fantastic, but she is not. Uh... Oh, thank you. What is it? Emergency? Thank you. I was like, what is that? It's hot. He brought me um, very hot drink that I just grabbed. Tifa, Tubi, and Halloween Lila. Is that still your team, Yaksha? It's still a viable team. I see it in guild battles all the time. As a matter of fact, I see a Tubi right now. We're fighting Log Horizons tonight. Shout out to uh, our opposite team today. If you're watching this in the future. Let's see what their team is. I'm fighting right now. Um, Loading. Loading. No, they have Yuna Cloud. Never mind. Um, But yeah, Tifa 2B and Halloween Lila Lila. You see that a lot. A lot. Halloween Lucia. Um, She's another like Dark Fina type. Um, She's a cost 70. So she... Halloween Lucia and Halloween Little Leela are both cost 70 that are really, really strong. She can toad. Very, very strong. Is she S tier? No. Is she A plus? I'm going to put her A plus because I actually like Lucia as a character. Um, her outfit is adorable. Um, her kit is fantastic. She's cost 70. She's going to be an A tier. Cloud? She's going to drop that in S tier right now. Cloud to this day is still super viable. He can chain, he can murder, he can AoE, he can focus down. Cloud fits in any slashing comp. Rainbow Slash, put Cloud in there. Why did the video pause? Why you pause? Don't pause my music. Well, song 27 out of 45. Cloud was like, hey, you're talking about me. <laughs> That's my game. So yeah, Cloud S plus. He if you have him, use him. Vi oh my, we're getting through this. Oh, I see Kane. 
Let's just uh, let's just get rid of that right now. Uh, okay, uh, Violet, I didn't pull for her. Every, every cloud you see is range because because cloud can range. Cloud can be a fantastic sniper. Pair her with lightning's missile damage. You can even do a cloud Makoto lightning, and that's kind of actually really scary. I kind of want to play with that now. Hi, Kyan. How are you? Not you. I didn't say Kyan. I said Kane. The Dragoon Kane. <laughs> Violet, um, she's good. She's evade. She kind of have to be built with other evade characters. I'm going to put her with Locke because they're basically best friends. Oberon. There's a problem with Earth teams right now where, you know, we like we like the character. I love the story. I love how dedicated he he is to um Shelza? No, I, I think that's wrong. He's dedicated to the chick. Uh but yeah. Hey, it's me, a nerd. Um he's an okay character. He's got an okay kit. He's got a fantastic TMR. Was it TMR or limit break? Both. Both are decent. <sighs> Esther. She's an S tier. She's still very good. Esther's another really good partner for Cloud. Um, nerds are fantastic candies. That's right. Um, Esther's very strong. She's a global exclusive. She's super cute. She's super fast. She's a bruiser type. We like her. So, I don't have her though. I don't have any of the global exclusives. Um, Celeste is an A+. So, back when I was a, wa a water player, I really, really liked the idea of running a Celeste, like Tidus and something else. Um, <sighs> she's good. Celeste is good. She's a good mage tank. She's got Runic, a very unique ability in the game. The problem with Celeste is that She's not that tanky and she dies very quickly. And then lightning is everywhere and lightning is going to wreck her face. Yes, there's the Celeste Astrius combo that people use, but I don't have Astrius. Every time, even PvE, every time I use Celeste on auto, I'm just disappointed. So. She's a great tank. She's supposed to be really good, but to me, she's bottom of A+. Even maybe top of A, actually. Uh, Renal? Do we use her? Like, I don't really want to do the MR characters in details because there's so many of them. And, like, use them for selection quests. Are you going to use her in your high-difficulty clearing content? No. No, you've never seen her. She's a she's free MR unit that you can build right now in your Far Plane archives, Burger. Um, is that you, Arzazan? You, Arzazan, pisses me off. I'm gonna put him S tier still, because I know that he's not the best unit, but let me tell you, this guy's hard to hit. And when I did enter Friday Night Fight tournaments, he was the reason that I lost my first battle, and I was really sad because I just couldn't hit the freaking character. <laughs> it was upsetting. Oh, he's above lightning. Oh, yeah, you're right. Let's put him here. <laughs> Let's put him here. That's a good point. Hi, Red. How's it going? Raldor. Um, apparently, Raldor is, like, incredibly powerful in JP. Isla. B. <laughs> B. Winter Victoria is a character I really, 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 really want one day. Uh, I'm not a water player anymore. She's pretty good. She's, oh, she's just probably not as good anymore. I'm going to drop her into B as well. Um, winter Victoria is the only winter unit that I really want. Because I wanted a water physical archer. But I never got her. She was really good when she came out though. Is that Miwu? Garvel. Um, Garvel was the last character that was released before the 120 era started. And even when we had our 120 characters, Garvel at level 99 could still keep up with them. 
So I think I, I need to give him at least a B or an A. Garvel now? Still pretty good. Is he is he A tier? Maybe not. Is he better than Raldor? Probably not. Is he better than Lemure? Probably. I kind of want to put them like this. Yeah, I feel like that's good. You've seen Garvel? Like, I haven't fought a Garvel 120. I haven't seen a Garvel 120. King Mont. I'm going to have to put him in S. Um, He's not better than Charlotte. He's pretty good. He's a good tank. Um, Unfortunately, Fire is in a really bad spot. If Fire was good right now, I'd probably put him in S+. Plus. He's a fantastic tank. Fantastic unit. But Fire is just bad right now. And you have to have the vision card. You can't just give him rainbow vision card. Like, you have to have his and stuff like that. So, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good with him on S. Um, man, this specific War of the Visions, I told you all. I mean, we can start cleaning up. Astrius, one of the best, well, actually the best water character in game. I'm gonna put him in S+. Plus. Every time I fight an Astrius, he pisses me off. I do not have Astrius. I do want him. Uh, but every time he comes out, I have to save for something else. Gerbil, yeah. Yeah, right now it's uh, Joker, Leela, and Dark Fina. Black Rose, Helena. Uh, Halloween, Lucia. Like, there's just so much. You kill Astrius with lightning. Yeah, I don't run a lightning team, though. But please kill them for me. Um, I don't even remember who you are. Budget Oron? Velric. Um... Okay. Uh, Nivlu is a cool character, but she's actually not that strong. Um, she's very niche. She's got Asper Killer, and I'm going to put her with Corwell because they're basically the same character, just different element. Um, they're okay. That's all I got for you. Renanan? Um, Renan's okay. He's probably my least favorite Warrior of the Crystal. I'm going to put him, like... He's a good mage. You have to play him with his BFF, Skahal. I bet you Renan, um, I was actually watching Orange's video this morning, not to date this video, but, uh, he was talking about the new, uh, Summer Helena being a lightning mage. Um, I feel like they're gonna be BFFs. I think. <laughs> Joker, to me, S tier. Joker was able to clear some raids, some, some really hard co-op that we've done on stream before. Uh, Joker has a fantastic kit. Uh, he's still relevant to this day. Uh, he's super dodgy. Joker's a fantastic character. If you if you run him with little Leela, or sorry, adult Leela, you've got a solid team right there. And you can just plug in anything else, a support for all you care. You put the Lemure with Joker and and little Lil Leela or Dark Leela, whatever. Great team right there. Um, Joker being one of my favorite character, uh, I, I have to S plus him. I have to. He's still building him in the barracks. He will help you clear a lot of content. Um, he's carrying my my dark team because my other dark characters, 120 Venera, um, who's do who does pretty good, but also, you know, uh, she's a... Black Rose Helena does pretty good, but even Black Rose Helena is outpowdered by now, so it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So Joker S tier! Uh, <clears throat> this boy is also S tier. I've been building him for months. He's so good. Like, he is so good. He's one of, like, what level? Okay, like, I have my, my game right here. What level do I have him at now? He is the best support in the entire game. Where are you, Bellas? Where are you? There it is. So he's level 61 out of 79. He's been sitting in my barracks in hard mode. I tried to buy his shards, but I don't have biz right now. Velis is the best support in the game, hands down. Velis does not have to be paired with other ice units. Put him with whatever the hell you want. He's got, he's a good, like, he's a support, high mage, super strong heal. His story is hilarious. I like the character. S plus for me. Black Rose Helena, easy S plus as well. Why? I still use her in multis. She is the most used character in my entire account. Do I need to say more? Mama Helena, fantastic character. 
Hey, Fran, how are you? Uh, Ibarra. Well, Ibarra's... I don't... I don't mind her. She's very strong. She's clearly Orange's favorite character because every character is Ibarra. I want to put Ibarra, like... Is she S plus? I... Probably. I'm going to put her, like, right here. She's a very strong character. Very, very strong mage. Um... She will probably pair really, really well with her new BFF, um, Summer Helena. What's this tier list for? So we're doing Final Fantasy tier list. This is our third one for today. We did Blue Mages earlier. Then we did Final Fantasy Tactics special characters. And now we're on to War of the Visions. Um, and we're doing just like character tier list of my opinion. Of my opinion. These are biased Another opinion. tier list equals O. Equals O? Gorio, what a great timing. Hello, thank you very much for the 13 month freeze. So, thank you for that continued support. 13, 17, I can read. Thank you, thank you. Um, so what we're doing is how I feel about the character, their glam, and what they generally present as, and if they're good units. So, those are my three rankings. Keep in mind that these are extremely, extremely biased tiers, tier lists. Sorry, so you know, feel free to argue with me, it's fine. Um, so we were talking about Ibarra. Yeah, so I don't have Ibarra. She's still a very strong character. She's scary. And she pairs really well uh, in, a, in an all-mage team. So based on design, because she's the only demon character we have going on, um, I think she's S. I think she's S. Next up, we have Snow at the bottom. Yeah, and Kane. Did you, did you, did you see? And Kane. <sighs> She's actually, Elena's probably, no, she's bottom. Um, Elena's an S tier unit. We all know that. We all hate her, right? If you have her, you use her. If you don't have her, you hate her. <laughs> Is it strength or preference? If it was just pre preference, I would put her into D. Um, so, okay. So, my three criteria for this specific list. Do I like the character? Do they look good, like outfits and like presentation and, and like voice and all of that? Are they strong units? Those are my three criteria. And mixing these, is, I am extremely biased, but that's okay. It's fine. Okay. 2B. So we talked about Tifa earlier. I'm going to put, I have to put them together. You want an ND unit? I would love, I would, I, I would love, um, an ND unit, actually. You don't like McCloud? I, I just don't care for him. I'm like, who's that? Is there a set of Criterion where Kane isn't? No. Uh, yeah, he would have to not be Kane. He would have to maybe not betray his best friend multiple times. So 2B, um, I have to put her with Tifa. Okay, I absolutely love 2B. I cosplay 2B. I have the costumes. One of my favorite costumes to wear. Minus the blindfold. Like, that dress is so nice and comfortable. She is outpowered, though. Well, what about the mysterious hooded figure? No. Um, <laughs> but like we said a little bit earlier, Tifa and 2B were like BFFs for six months in Arena. We have to put them together in a tier list. I can't break them up. It would be heartbreaking. Um, Prompto, I'm gonna put on the Lemure. I mean, I don't mind Prompto as a character. I think he's really nice. The voice actor is the sweetest voice actor. Robbie Damon is an absolute gem. Um, and I like Prompto as a character. I don't mind him at all. Uh, but he's just not a good unit. Like, he's okay if you have nobody else to put on your dark team. You could do better, though. Um, one of the few dark missiles that actually, you know, he's got a lot of status effects. Like, you can utilize him if you... If you control him manually, you'll find a lot more success with Prompto. Hey there, opening. Oh, I want to play 15 again. But yeah, so so Prompto, he, he's, he's okay. It was alright. You got better dark options, honestly. Um, I Do I run Prompto? I do. In my auto brutal. Like, you know when you have to clear your high difficulty with all of your elemental team? Prompto's in there. Because I don't have better. I don't really have a dark team. My dark team is Joker. And Black Rose Helena. And Venera. And then Shiza. And Prompto. I don't have a dark team. But I have Joker. That's all that matters. Orin. 
Orin. Um, I don't have Orin as a unit. I absolutely love the character, though. Um, he's very strong. He was also the whole, like, when Orin first came out, you, you friends, um, it, it was really funny because he's an ice unit, right? And he's got a fire tornado limit break. And then this is when the, the whole War of the Vision community was like, the fuck? Why is he not fire? And then they gave us Valric, which is the same unit. Um, I really like Orin as a character. I don't have him as a unit. He looks pretty cool. He is very strong. He's got some really good utility. He's got some good AoEs. I'm gonna put him right here. It's hard for me to gauge if he's a good character or not because, again, I don't have him. He makes sense lore-wise. For ice? I'm trying to like how do i not spoil anybody that might be watching this Aerith, okay Aerith was i pulled for her because i used to be a water main and then all she would do is nothing um she's an okay character she's a i really like her counter like the aoe heals pretty good although we have better now um her ai is just not great like if you run her time mage she will spam quicken on herself Her AI is just weird. Aerith needs a little bit of um, tweaking. Like, you, you need agility tweaking. You need um, initial placement tweaking, really. Uh, you can make her really good. You can make her work. I have seen some crazy strong Aerith before. Uh, but she just doesn't perform for me. So I'm going to put her, like, here. She can go with her friend, uh, Tifa. She's okay. Uh, I wasn't going to pull for Aerith at all. But because she was water and I used to be a water main... I told myself, I gotta have her. Do I regret pulling? No, because I also got Barrett in the same pull. But I don't actually utilize her. I regret building her. Resnick? Well, okay, so Resnick, first of all, we've seen her perform in Friday Night Fights, so she's at least A+. She's got a really cool design. She's an interesting, you know, she's a very interesting character. Um... One of the top tier, like I'm looking at all of this, like Velis is top tier support. I don't have a lot of support at the top here. Resnick is probably a, a character that people just sleep on a lot. What kind of main? I am a ice main now. Like people have her, but they're like, oh, she's a support. I'm not going to build her. And let me tell you, that's a mistake. Build her better than Renan. You think? Renan needs support like he, renan needs resnick ice main well i i have agrius like it's fine i i don't need snow i'm an ice main yeah that's right uh pumpkin frederita Fred, frederica um i was really disappointed in this character i love frederica she's one of my she was my first like main frederica where is she god there's so many characters there she is Main Frederica was my first UR, so I have to put her A. My heart. Um, Pumpkin Frederica, I really wanted to pull because I like Frederica. Unfortunately, her character is not that great. Like, Earth is in a weird spot right now. And when she came out, it was around when URs was on. Or, like, shortly after URs was on. And we all thought, okay, rip lightning forever. No. Even lightning teams can shred her to pieces it's very sad arc her glam is fantastic you're right um elshra so elshra is actually going to be one of the few mr unit that i'm gonna put in like a i like her i like her style i like her outfit i like her kit and she's the only reason i can do selection quest like like i like elshra a lot okay Next one here is going to be a little controversial. I apologize if you disagree. But like 9S is S tier. Um, is he the best unit? No. I love the character in Nier. 9S is a fantastic character. But let me tell you the tales of 9S. 4, 9S, Drain Rush. Beating Raid 100. So... Back in the days when we had glacial raids, 
We ran it back in the days where doing raids on multi would give you would we give you bonus. Um, we used to run four nine s with everything turned off except the uh, cyclonic spear shot or whatever to get rid of the ads. Whoever went first, and then drain rush. That's it. You turn everything off except those two skills. Nine s chaining drain rush. Four of them was absolutely oh my goodness I, I know arc was there does anybody else remember how much how much we farmed that ninus chains really well he's a great support he has amazing range he can stun stuff he's a fantastic unit um it's really unfortunate that he's just not as strong as we want him to be but i think ninus is one of the best free unit in the entire game other than maybe lucio but I put him in S plus because Drain Rush. Do, do I need to say more? He can do pierce damage. He can do slash damage. He can do non-elemental slash non-type damage. Um, you, Burger's like, I was there. Uh, that was absolutely fantastic. Um, okay, Summer Ketone goes with Glacy. Like, she, they're not good. Like, I wa you want them to succeed. You want the units to do good. And then they just don't. She's adorable, so she can go above, though. Um, Camillo. He's not a great unit, okay? He does not perform really well. But, like, Camillo's a cutie. I, I, I admire his dedication to Mashiri. Um, in the most-ish recent story, his uh, dedication to Al Sorel. Uh, he's a cutie. I really like him. He's, like, the, the comedy of the game. Um, I enjoy his character arc a lot. I'm sorry, he's S tier to me. He's adorable. He's just adorable. Yeah, there is a lot of dragoons on my S tier. Weird. Camillo to kill Black Rosalina back when she was everywhere. That's one way to do it. Uh, Winter Venera. Uh, tough call. I don't have her. I don't have any of the winter units. Um, I never really wanted an earth punchy unit uh she can be built decently well i've seen her succeed i've watched orange Day's video like she has potential but mm. um i don't even know who you are you're the new chick nobody cares about she's a selection quest chick i don't think she's good i don't really have i don't i don't remember her name Eliza is very good. I uh, I don't have her. I do want her. I would put her. Hmm. I would put her about here. No, I'm a little behind. I'm at least two or three chapter behind story. Uh, I've been really busy lately. But I don't want to skip the story because I enjoy the story a lot. Uh, I, yeah, I don't remember who this guy is. Um, who did I just place? Oh no. Oh yeah, Eliza. Eliza's a fantastic ice unit. I really want her. Um, I actually regret not pulling for her, uh, but I didn't. So hopefully, because she's part of the permanent pool, hopefully maybe one day the game will give her to me. Chunag. Okay. Great. I'm gonna put... Uh... Oh, Gargas. I don't care for him and w or D Durando, whatever. Like, you could just go into no. Um... I'm sorry. Like, I just... I... Yeah. Oh, my thing. <laughs> you use them? I have not. But it, to be fair, I have not beaten all of the selection quests. Therefore... <laughs> In a, one of our multis. You did. The ones I weren't paying attention to. Because his AoE is huge. I'm not saying... I don't doubt it. He, he's not powerful. Um, I don't know. Personally? I'm probably not going to build him. I don't have the resources for it. Sakura! Um, Sakura was very unique. When she came out, she was absolutely OP. And Sakura had the staff that Yuna wanted. Speaking of Yuna, S tier. Um, <laughs> Aeon Bond. Need I say more? Uh, Sakura is still pretty good to this day. You don't really see her in light teams, though. I don't think that... I don't think that she is utilized as much as she should be. Ever since she got her 120, you don't see her enough. She could be a lot, a lot stronger. 
I think I'm going to drop her in A+, before you are Zazan. She's very powerful, you just don't see her enough. Using her in your main guild battle team. Nah! She tanks. She tanks? I've only seen, like, squishy Sakuras. Interesting. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can we clean up? Crace? Titus? Nah. Silma's actually okay. I'm cleaning some MR real quick. Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's speed clear these. Uh, se Severo, whatever? No. Actually, he's just going no. Um, I don't need, le, 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 she's fire. It's a good thing I have the game right in front of me. What's her name? L Marguerite. Yeah, no. Um. Um. Oh man. Okay, we can talk about her. Who cares about Shutsu? Nobody. That's it. They're like, oh, we got, we have to go save him, and we're all like, meh. I don't even remember you. Curry. No. Oh, there's so many characters. Instant regret. Uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, uh, wait. If you're Stritzalt, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> now yeah, dead before. Yeah, dead before the game started. Wait, if you're Stritzalt, who are you? <laughs> Lorenzo, sure. I don't look at MRs. This is Seymour. Seymour is okay. Uh, I forgot who you are, but you're your siblings. Oh, you're a traitor, actually. You can just go into the no. Um, Vistral, nah. Also a traitor. I forgot who you are, but you're your Mashiri's sister. You're somebody's sister. Miche can be in D because he's got Toad. It's Glacella's sister. Okay, okay. That's right, that's right. Did I say Mashiri? No, I meant Glacella. Um trying to clean, but it's actually Balo. Balo and um where is she? Balo and his wife? Girlfriend. We could talk about her. We could talk about Chell. Um, my first gunner unit. Rare you. I don't remember your name either. You can go here. Um, well, there's a lot of characters that I don't remember. Uni? I'm sorry. Vadim? What does he even do? Do we use these characters? No. You can go in D as well. Um, Lorela or whatever. Ravies we have to talk about. Uh, Livial is actually Surge killed Vadim, but why? This will happen like years ago. Uh, Livial, I'm actually gonna drop into C. She's a very good unit. She can be tankier than she looks, and um, she's just very good for herself. Okay, Coconut Lilith. Yay, this character is that Andy doesn't know. I don't remember the names of the MR unit nobody cares about. They've been mentioned twice, and they're like, yeah, this really important character has a baby now, and you're like, and we care because? Coconut Lita, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna put her with Venera here. I don't, she's a cool character. She's got a cool concept. The end. Hope? I really, 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 really wanted to like Hope in this game. And I was like, okay, I should, uh, I should build her, uh, sorry, I should build him and uh have him a support and i was like i'm sure i can slot him somewhere <laughs> i want to like hope he does good supports he's got a very unique kit he comes with his own weapon which is very good i just he's still not good though i really wanted the damage to be a little bit higher <clears throat> summer Jaden. why s s plus you ask well he's our only male summer unit he's actually really good and um, he's also got mathematician or arith arithmetician as a secondary job. He's just good. Yeah, I was wanting him 
to be better, but people were saying, but he's not. Yeah, I was hoping that he would be... He, he needed a little bit of a buff. Um, and I bet you Global would have used him. As many as Goku's transformation were more than halfway through. Oh, I see Agrias. Uh, actually, Agrias goes here. Because, like, okay, so Ramza's more like a C or B tier, but it, he, he needs to be higher up. Barret? Um, so when Barret first came out, I was like, I'm not building him. And then I started building him, and then I started using him. Barret's actually really good. He's got good range. If enemies do get to him, he's quite tanky. Barret's very good. Uh, Sedia. I wish Sedia was stronger. I like Sedia as a character. I really do. Um, he gets even better with... It's crazy to me. Like, Barret's actually good. <laughs> I wasn't even going to pull for him. But I got him on the same pull I got... Um, Aerith. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll slow build him. And now I'm like... Hi, Daka. Um, so I'm putting Sedia in A+, because she's a great character, but, like, it's her personality. I love Sedia. She's so cute and optimistic. Uh, I don't like this chick, so I'm putting her here. What's her name? Rachis. I don't, I don't like her. Um, to be fair, I, I, I'm not a fan of the, uh, Salire. Loving her brother. It's kind of weird. Um, Noctis is good. I'm gonna put him with UR Zazan because they're the Earth Bros. They belong together. I don't have Noctis, so I can't speak to his performance, but I see him do some pretty big shredding on Lightning, so I respect it. Um, I forgot her name. New punchy chick that's from, what's her name, Frederica's Village. It's practically the only best selection unit, but... And, and, because she carries Urel, is that? Yeah, something like that. I don't know much about her. Unfortunately, again, Earth just is in such a bad place. It's unfortunate. Um, Eliza? Uh, okay. I, I tried to not fight her because she hurt a lot. She, she hurts a lot. Like, a lot. She, she, her and Eliza, let's, not Eliza. That's Eliza. She is a something. She's Oberon's sister, Jaden's fiance, Alaya. I was like a something. Um, she's very scary, very scary. And funny enough, she was a band in last finals of Friday Night Fight. She was a band unit, Alaya. Thank you. I was like a something. Um, farm. Farm is actually quite interesting. I love farm's design. I think she's super cute. Um, I have fought some really well, like, built farms before, and they were scary and really hard to hit. I don't have her build, so I don't know what she's capable of, um, but I, f fighting her is kind of scary. No. Okay. Oh, getting through this. Mustadio, I'm sorry. You're, you're all right. You're all right. Okay, Titus. Um, when Titus came out, I used him for over a year. He was the carry of my white, my white, my water team. Wheat farm or vegetable farm? No, her name's just farm. <laughs> PH though. Um, I want to put Titus at A plus. I think he can still dish out some damage. He's got some good utility. He can be kind of bruisery. Like he's got good tanking capability with his Sentinel sub job. Um, I don't mind. Is he better than Sakurano? Is he better than Celeste? No. So let's drop him to like maybe here. I think Titus can still be well utilized right now. In a water team, just to do like high difficulty content, Titus will get you places. Farmazon cheese. I have questions. <laughs> um, more the merrier, fantastic character. Uh, I like more as a character. Where is her other self? I told you guys that this I told you this will be a big one More there we go more and more the merrier more being a water mage her limit break is basically Medina's limit break um, You do not have answers, okay, um, where do I put more more was great when she came out she's okay now 
Mortimerier is very strong. She's got a very strong limit break. She can poison, like it's a hard poison too. Um, she's got your re-res, your courage. She can, she's a good support. I wanted to pull for her, but I couldn't because I didn't have Viz because they just randomly dropped her and I was very sad. Okay, um, Summer Elsarel, one of the best bikini unit, um, like, like, looks-wise, I love her outfit. I would wear that outfit. Like, I would wear her bikini. It's really cute. Um, I'm a really big fan of Elsarel as a character. Elsarel is a fantastic, so she's kind of like a better Luel, because she's like the book unit, right? Um, her limit break is adorable. I would put her about here. She's a very good character underutilized like you don't see a lot of water teams anymore and it's kind of sad but um i feel like she's if you have her i feel like she's underutilized she can be used really really well lara croft i kind of just want to put her in no and I, I i know it's gonna be like it's gonna offend some people but like this was not the proper collab for war of the visions in my opinion um she is a good unit i agree I'm not building Moraga either. Let's see what else. Oh man. Are we can we go? Oh, we're at four rows. Somewhere else else LB is too funny. It's she she falls asleep. It's adorable. They missed out on making farm a healer. <laughs> She'd be a pharmacist worker, please. Um, I see Winter Luartha. I'm gonna put her with um Black Bear, Gla Glacella, they're, she's, she's one of the biggest attacker in the game. Like, she's got attack power. It's insane. Um, she's still good now, and she was out last year, so it's pretty good. Um, Dwayne has lost a lot of influence. Dwayne used to be the dark bro, and now he's just, he's just there. He's not a, he's not a bad unit, but you don't see him anymore, anywhere. And it's kind of, kind of sad. Elsarel, base Elsarel. I really don't know where to put her. I like the character. Is she good? No. Even at 120, is she scary? No. Uh, Valentine Eldara, the, that was Gumi's attempt to save fire. Evasion fire. She's kind of like, she reminds me of, um, pumpkin spice Frederica. I haven't seen her be like does anybody have fire Eldira? She's a real sleep. Elsarel's a sleeper unit. She sure is, Kappa. Terra, um, I feel like I'm forced to put Terra in like at least S. Uh fantastic FF6 character. She's she's really good. She's a good oh, she's not better than Thina though. I like Terra. She's she's average in character, like A or B, I would say, but I really like Terra. I like her kit. She's my best fire unit that I'll never use. Luartha, pretty average. She can combo. If you have a fire team and you need chaining, she's your girl. She's a free unit that you can build anytime. Uh Yurma, I if Kid ever watches this video. I'm sorry. Like she was never good. Not even in the story. Same thing with uh, base Lilith. I'm not gonna or I'm gonna I'm not gonna organize the D units like King Rob. Is that Rob? That's not Rob. That's um the other one. <laughs> Rob is uh, my Sherry's dad, right? I I forget. Uelda, Uelda. Yes, that's right. Let's find the other one. Where is he? This one, this is Rob. I'm gonna put Rob in C only because his TMR is fantastic. Uh, Delita, I hate the character. He goes in a no. See a pattern here? Um, Laswell is an S plus tier to me. Laswell and Agrias together. I've been running Laswell Agrias in my guild battles for a very long time and let me tell you, holy shit. 
If you don't build accuracy to hit my Laswell, you will not hit him. He will just dodge everything, and then he'll just slowly kill you. He's got time. You can't touch him. Uh, Laswell is my favorite game, a uh, favorite game, my favorite character coming out of the Brave XPS and War of the Visions world. Um, absolutely love both of them. So, um, Agrias and Laswell are probably going to be my permanent team for a while. Um, I was thinking of Rain. Where's Rain? Did we already put it out? I don't see. Is Rain not in here? Um, Rabies. I'm actually going to put her here. Um, dun, 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 dun. I think she's a fantastic tank. And where's Nasha? Nasha and uh, Rabies. No, that's not Nasha. Nasha, right here. Um, for MR units, these are your best possible MR tanks. They're incredibly, incredibly well balanced. I guess that, that would be a good word for it. Like they're, they can do a lot for you. And for your selection quests, those are the characters you want to focus on building. Because if they can take all the attention away for, for, from the other, like your other team members, um, Gilgamesh used to be... Remember when Gilgamesh was good? He's probably better than... I'm gonna put you right here. Gilgamesh used to be absolutely overpowered. Um, and then he kind of fell off a little bit. And then I don't see Gilgamesh anymore. Miranda... Okay, so there's a bias here. Um, Miranda is... You rang? Gilgamesh? Oh. Please tell me you didn't come here to start your nonsense again. Very thanks for the 500 bits. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, okay. Um, being, yeah, he used to be the only double cost. That's right. That's right. Uh, Miranda was the red mage unit that I absolutely needed in my life. Um, her jamming thrust is so powerful. She can tank. She can quicken. She's a great unit, in my opinion. She's... Her and Titus was like they were my water team for a very long time. Not anymore, but I really like Miranda, and I'm putting her S tier because I personally really like her. I love her design. She's super cute. I love her outfit. I would absolutely wear it. Uh, Rosa, Howlet. Now I used Howlet for a long time. He's not that strong anymore. He's definitely fell off. Um. Even his 120 is pretty average. I like him as a caster because he's got a lot of sustain. He's got jamming thrust, so he has that red mage. I think Hellet is good. Um, I think his uh, 120 kind of missed the mark for me a little bit. But um, Now we got to put the twins together. And I'm going to put them in C together. And why C? Because all three of them together can do good. And I have done... Like, I have fought... Uh, so limited class well limited get battles or li limited class match where the three of them are really hard to kill when they're together and I don't like it but it's strong so C is pretty good for me little little Leela excuse me why are you even in the game Skahal I feel like I have to put no I'm not putting Skahal with no that's not happening Skahal okay I've never seen a good Skahal other than in Friday Night Fights. He's actually apparently really hard to kill now. Um, it's kind of impressive. I'm going to put him right here, maybe. Just because recently I've seen him perform really well. I've never experienced it. Halloween, where are you? Man, we've been doing this specific tier list for a year. A year. A year. It's been a year. Um, Halloween, where were you? You build him for his TMR and then you stop there. Ildira. She's got to be S for me. She's got to be S. Well, no, you know what? She could be S plus. Free unit. Farm unit. Water unit. Nerd unit. She's adorable. She does the glasses on her on her picture. She's a fantastic character in the story. Ildara is one of my favorite aesthetically everything. Like she's super cute. I love her. So, yeah. 
Uh, Oldoa. Um, who plays Oldoa? Does anybody ever use Oldoa? Because I sure don't. Fravia? I really wish I had her for my ice team. I don't. Uh, she's supposed to be kind of like over... Overshadowed by so many units like she she needs some love I think her and Dwayne can go together by the fact that they've just been outpowered by now You tried her once but it was like that Odoa you build Odoa to 99 to get her TMR and that's it That's all you do with her uh, Dario super cute character Very self-sacrificing character um, I like his outfit. I actually really like his voice as well. I think they did a good job with the, with the character himself um, for an MR character, he does pretty good. Um, I would put him with actually my three tanky ladies. Uh, yeah, I, I would put Dario at top of C because he's a good unit. He's MR though. So if you want to win tank, go for Doom. But a well-built Dario with the proper vision card, the proper equipment can take you very far. Um, limited skill battles. Dario can be a very solid tank for you. Just hope that you don't encounter my team, which will wreck you because I switch out RNA for Victoria and Victoria will shred him to pieces. Regular Glaciella is actually pretty bad. Please feel free to change my mind, but she was never good. Like a water dragoon. She wasn't good. She's never done good. She's a... Uh, well, that's another unit that you built. Where's Oldoa? Yeah. She's a, you build her to 99 only for her TMR, and then you never touch her again. Thank you. That's a lot of food. Burger made. Pork and tacos inspired. Hello, fresh. Oh my god. With crispy shallots. Smells so freaking good. Thank you. Yeah, you build her. Oh, that's true. You can do um, steel hard, steel time. That is useful for chaining. Uh, but I'll like. Don't put her on auto. You will regret it. <laughs> you will regret it. Then we have regular Zazan. Why did people even like him? I n I'll never understand. Warrior of Light. Warrior of Light sits as an A or B, but I'm going to put him like right here because he's Warrior of Light. Oh, I hope Dr. Diggs never watches this video. <laughs> Victoria, um, very, very good, low-cost unit, very strong, not stronger than them. Victoria can be really good, and she starts with a shield now, which makes her incredibly powerful. Ayaka, the OG healer Ayaka, who is still pretty decent. She just got some white mage, white mage buffs. I want to put Ayaka, like, top of B. She's not your first support that you want to bring. But she's definitely, you know, she's if you have her 120 and you need a little bit of healing, she's going to do the job. She's going to get it done. Yeah, remember the days of guild battles where you lost only because Ayaka used her LB? And then she full res someone? And that's the only reason they won? Oh, I remember that. Lucia, regular Lucia, is actually just... I'm putting her on prompto level. She's good. She can chain. She's my chainer. Personally, I run... When I clear content, when I need to get it, make a chain, I run my win team. And all I have turned on on her is quadra shot or quadruple shot or whatever. And it does a job. But is she strong? No. She's a chainer. Aileen. I hope Orange J never watches this video. Um, Aileen was my very first level 99. And I felt sad that she was really bad. <laughs> uh, Yishtola, same thing. Very bad. Um, she's better now, but 120. But she's still not a great character. I'm so sorry. She's too squishy. She cannot take a hit, unfortunately. Salire, well, we talked about that. I feel like I, should, I need to put her with uh, Rachis. They can go together because they love each other, right? Uh, regular Stern, not a fan of the character. He is better at 120. Um, I don't think it makes him that good. I feel like I need to... You mean he's better than Hope and Prompto? Oh my goodness, this is hard. You can go here. Again, this is biased. There's more than just power going into this. 
Um, this is Winter Machiri, which I'm gonna put with the other Dragoons. Like, these Dragoons, these three Dragoons are very powerful. That's all I got. New Stern looks great. He does. Um... Is he still dark, though? Um, okay. Phoebe needs to be about here as well. So Phoebe, not a particularly good character. Like, character-wise, she's fine. Uh, Lore-wise, she's okay. Phoebe is good for quick and comps, though. Again, specific, like, on cost-limited stuff, Phoebe can get you places. That quick in. Now with extra range. It's worth thinking about. Chell is my favorite MR unit. Um, in my ice team, before I started running Victoria on Cost Limited, I used to run Chell for Quicken on Laswell. It's worked really well for me. Her green mage is like her green magic is useless. I'm sorry. Um, she she's good for an MR unit. She's good, but like you want to turn off basically her whole kit. Uh, Etra? You can go here. Actually, you can go here. I, I don't like Etra. Um, people say that she's super strong, but I just... Not for me. Well, Halloween Lalalila absolutely is an S tier. And she's gonna go with... Okay, we need to reorganize some things here. Yeah, um, Halloween Little Wheela, ow, I can't, um, still one of the best, her and, and Halloween the CM, best cost limited character available to you, uh, Halloween Little Wheela, Tifa 2B was like, the arena battle team for the longest time, uh, I hope Niad never watches this because Sosha, She's alright. She's a wannabe Aranea, okay? You have Aranea in the game. Just play Aranea. Orlando. So I got him to 120 recently. I haven't had much success trying him on and taking him in out for a spin. Um, he's good. He's not Agrias level of good. And I don't know that, you know, he used to be the unit. When you first started this game, if you're a day one player and I am, you wanted Orlando. I only wanted Ramza, but you wanted Orlando back in the day. This was the unit you wanted to pull for. Save four and pull for Orlando. Ketone is unfortunately pretty awful for you, our unit. Um, she, her, her 120 helped her a lot. But I have to say, if the enemy team builds accuracy, she's gonna get one shot. Like, yes, her counter is fantastic. It helps a lot. But like, I don't know. Not my thing. Um, glass cannons are not my favorite types of characters. Medina! Uh, Medina used to be the character that people re-rolled on when the game the game first came out. I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but yeah. Me Medina was the character that you wanted to re-roll for because her limit break would one-shot the enemy team. Is she good now? I wouldn't say that. Um, she's okay. She'll still, you know, she'll do the job. She'll do what she what you need her to do. Let's go for. Let's go FF nine music. Let's go. We finish FF seven. Believe it or not. Um. So if you're wondering, we're listening to uh, TPR's Final Fantasy playlist. You never see her now. You do not see Medina at all anymore. She's... She's okay. She can still do ma damage if you somehow build a magic ice team, which you don't see at all anymore. So yeah. Engelbert, the OG tank. Let me tell you, killing this guy back in the day was annoying. I used to have to avoid Engelberts. He's kind of like bottom of A. We have good fond memories of Engelbert, but nobody sees. Like, you don't... Well, that's not true. You do see him nowadays. And he was picked in the finals of Friday Night Fight just last week, so... But he's not your typical, like, OP tank anymore. Mashery. Look how 
similar Rosa and Mashiri's outfits are. Fina. I feel like my dislike for Faith Farming just puts her at the bottom of C. Is she good? Yes, yeah, she's a fantastic MR unit. I've seen her do absolute, absolute damage. Her charm, her, her charm on the bow is fantastic. But I've used her so much. Back in the days, you wanted to not use, you wanted to, before we had the ability to turn off abilities, you had to make sure to not teach any other abilities to Fina so that she could use her faith ability. Yeah, now, now, um, you know, back in my days, we couldn't do it, but w now you can turn off all the other abilities and actually utilize Fina properly, but back in the days, you couldn't do that. You had to just not learn the ability, which sucked. Absolutely sucked, so. Because of that, I'm putting her in C because I really just don't want to put her in my party ever again. Other than selection quests. Right? Remember that? Ugh. And there's Rain. Um... Rain is the only fire tank, which is really sad. Is he a good unit? He's not bad. You, he, he can do good damage. Oh, that's not true. King Mont is the fire main. What am I talking about? I don't think that Rain is that strong, even for a red mage. Um, he's gonna go in B. I have used Rain in he, like he is in my PVE fire team, but he doesn't. He's a good clutch Kira. Let's just go with that. You put him as a sub red mage and he's got jamming thrust and a clutch Kira for you. That's all he's gonna do. Seymour. Another MR unit nobody really cares about. Regular Moth though. Where is my best MR? He's top of MR, okay? King Mont, sorry, not King Mont. Regular Prince Mont is probably the best MR unit in my opinion. He can still, you know, when you start a new account and, and if you watch new account um, guides and everything, he, like Mont is going to take you places and he still can be a good earth tank if you don't have another one. Cecil. I wasn't a fan of Cecil when he first came out. I have to say that he's actually kind of grown on me. Cecil can do some solid light chains. I'm gonna put him with his friend Gobez, with his bro uh, Gobez here. He's pretty good. Uh, in the light team, he can help you a lot. Uh, his limit break is really good. I mean, you have to build Mon for story. You do and you don't, but yes. You pronounce Cecil? Well, yeah, because I, pr I pronounce it the uh, the FF way. Uh, Goldstern is still pretty good. Um, he's got the shield now, which buffed him a lot. Is he god tier? Probably not. I would put him probably in here. Um, I still kind of see Dark Stern or Goldstern out in, in arenas and stuff. I don't know why, but I still see him. And he can dish out some damage. The thing is, if you are able to combo him and break his barrier, you're gonna one-shot him. Bankrid? That's another no. Um... I forgot her name! This is Bankrid. <laughs> uh, let's grab Adelard. Um, I'm gonna put him with Dario here. Super Stern is just food for my Sakura. So you just, like, you just hunt for gold sterns? Marielle, right. Yeah, it's Marielle and the other one is Libyal. Let's let's just make all those names sound the same, I guess. Um, she she's actually pretty good. I do enjoy her kit a lot. Um, she's the yeah, she's the Earth unit. She's the Light unit. They both have the math abilities. They're pretty good. Um, Ramada can go here for me. I like her in the story. I like her character, but she is so freaking weak. Venera. Um, I enjoy Venera's character. She's not that strong. She does have the Thief subclass, so it is useful. I do use her in my dark team. Um, I'm finding some good success with her. Where do I put you? Like, her armor cleaver is pretty good. Sakura, Jade, and Lucio. Oh, Seaburger, you can use Lucio. He's good. Uh, Gafgarian. He used to be okay. We'll put him with Mustadio. 
Def Garion is a is one of those MR unit that is more like a very shitty UR. Kilfe uh, used to be very strong. Kilfe was the first unit that used magic on basic attacks, and uh, that was just weird when she came out. She's a tanky mage. I enjoy her quite a bit. I don't think she's better than Yuma Sheree. I do believe they play really well together, but I don't have the Yuma Sheree. Winter Ramada is still pretty bad, unfortunately. Um... Like, you want her to succeed, but she just doesn't connect. You know what I mean? Which is unfortunate. Uh, base Helena goes in the MR list that nobody cares about. Mary Luke goes in the MR list that nobody cares about. Shadow Links is apparently more popular than I ever thought. Um, I mean, I, I have used her in selection quests. I will put her right after Phoebe. She is very good. She can solo selection quests, apparently. Did I manage to do it? No. But apparently it's a thing. She's squishy. But she's an MR squish. If you're looking for a tankier version, it's Ketone. And even Ketone is super squish. Um, Tyrell, I think his name is. Um, I don't understand his character. Like, he's like, eh, it's my job to protect Venera because my BFF is dead, so I'll do him in his Like, what? Tyrell, you're an okay tank. For an MR unit, you do pretty good for yourself. As far as personality goes, they're okay, I guess. I'm, just, I'm not a big fan, but they're okay. And, um, is that Mia? Mia's okay. Because she's got subclass thief. But like she's she's not better than Liarthe. None of these are better than the others. They're just all bad. So I think we did it. it took an hour and a half. I, I knew this one would be very long, but this is my War of the Visions global unit as of November 16th. In my favorite that are actually okay. We have Ramza and Warrior of Light, but my S tiers, yeah, seems about right. Seems about right. RNA and yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I agree with most of these placements. Okay, I have to take multiple screenshots for this one. Okay, let me zoom out. Yeah, there's 8 million. I'm, I'm glad I don't play uh, base. Exvius, because then we would never leave. They would be the whole stream. But there you go. If you disagree with my placement, feel free to, you know, put a comment down below, because this is also going on YouTube. But, uh, you know, these are based on my opinions on the characters, on their look, their glam, their utility, or if they're Final Fantasy character, do I like their characters? Because you can tell the characters I don't like. They end up in a no column. So there you go. My War of the Visions global unit. I don't even know. If I ever do a War of the Visions updated tier list, I'm scrapping all the, the MR units. You disagree with all of them in the video game you've never played. <laughs> That's fair. No, I respect your opinion. I, dis I disagree a lot, especially Zazan. Like regular Zazan? Like what makes you like Zazan? He's a murdery asshole that just doesn't die and he's stubborn. Like what is like, what is there to like? He's wonderful. Mind blown. Not to me. But anyways. He's our lord and savior. He's your lord and savior. <laughs> Fran, please. Oh my goodness. But this was fun to make. It took, you know, a lot longer than expected. But there's just so many characters. Okay. Ba -da.